Madrid, a city known for its historic architecture, luminous skies, warm hospitality and prestigious art collections. The internationally renowned Prado Museum welcomes almost 2.5 million visitors every year. It's right on the Plaza de Neptuno, in the heart of the city. But if we cross the Paseo del Prado to the other side of the square, we're just a short 500 metre walk to a very different but complementary art gallery. Its artistic director welcomes us to the Thyssen Bonamitsa Museum. Bienvenidos al Museo Thyssen Bonamitsa. As Guillermo Solana explains, the public gallery houses what was in its day the world's biggest private art collection, created by successive generations of the Thyssen Bonamitsa family. The collection was begun around 1920 by the first Baron Heinrich. In less than three decades, he brought together over 500 works, mostly by the old masters Van Eyck, Van der Weyden, Memling, Dura, and Holbein, among others. When the Baron died in 1947, the collection was split between his four children. But the youngest and inheritor of the family title, Hans Heinrich, put all his efforts and most of his assets into buying back the works from his siblings to reunite the collection. And he continued adding new works from the 19th and 20th centuries. Expressionism, Impressionism, Pop Art and Hyperrealism. By the 1980s, with more than a thousand paintings, the Thyssen Bonamitsa collection had become the world's largest and best private collection of paintings. And the collection was further augmented by works owned by the Spaniard Carmen Zavera, after she married the Baron in 1985. Hans Heinrich resolved never to let the collection be broken up again. After receiving offers from various countries, he agreed to sell the collection to the Spanish government in 1993. The fact that it was to be housed in this Via Hermosa Palace so close to the Prado was instrumental in the family's decision to install the collection in Madrid. The Thyssen Bonamitsa family have always made every effort to open the collection to the public, bringing visitors in direct and personal contact with over 700 years of the history of painting. Indeed, very few of the world's galleries offer such a complete artistic chronology. And that's not all according to the museum's artistic director. Además de su colección permanente, Guillermo Solana points out that the museum also offers an impressive program of temporary exhibitions of interest to any art-loving international traveller. The temporary shows are part of an active policy of reciprocal loans that regularly bring to Madrid exhibitions of the major artists and art movements. There are more than enough reasons to take the short walk from the Prado to the Thyssen, and you can just as easily begin your tour here in what was the world's most complete private collection and is today an open book of the history of art for all ages.